Hi, I'm Eko Kapone, a 14 year old just about to publish my debut fantasy fiction novel, Dawn of the Guardian. I believe all of us have a story to tell. This is where mine begins. Sitting around the fire and devouring every story that I could get my hands on. Not much has changed today. I relish the opportunity to read and tell stories. All of us share stories. Stories are a portal, a journey into other worlds where you can immerse yourself in the mind of a storyteller while learning, exploring and enjoying the experience. For many, reading is the only way that they can experience the stories and wonders of the world around them. Four years ago, along with my parents and twin brother, we started out on a journey of learning and discovery that has seen us travel the world. It was the stories of the people we met, cultures we experienced, and places that we visited that inspired me to start telling these stories in my travel blog, online at Dreamtime Traveller. Inspired by the dreaming of the first Australians of my homeland, I wanted to share with the world what I had experienced and what I had learned. It was on one particular journey to a friend's place in Andalusia, in the south of Spain, that I was inspired to tell the story of Foucault through my novel, Dawn of the Guardian. It was my dream that this would be a story that would inspire and entertain, one that would take people on their own journey of discovery and learning. From this experience, Dawn of the Guardian was born on a bus journey heading past the Rock of Gibraltar in the fall of 2013. I was just 12 years of age, taking my first steps to becoming a writer. In the colds of the winter, I was happy to sit in our warm little home at that time in Budapest, and I wrote with a driven passion and an eager desire to get my story to paper. At times I was stuck, at times frustrated. I literally cried as I wrote myself into corners, wanting to be spontaneous and not plan my story and character arcs. But with every day that passed, I learnt something new. New about writing, new about telling stories, and new about myself. What I didn't know, I researched. Where I needed help, I reached out to other authors and asked for their assistance and advice. And slowly, over the course of eight months of writing every day, I completed my first draft, just before my 13th birthday in the summer of 2014. I then went about seeking professional feedback and assistance. It took a lot of effort and hundreds of emails, but I ended up getting positive responses from a number of authors and even three publishing houses encouraging me to hone the draft and throughout 2015, it was fashioned into the book that is about to be released now. So what's the book about? While it's been called a dogtail fable, a cross between the alchemist and inception, it is really about solving conflict without violence and without letting anger get the better of you. It's about facing your fears with confidence, and it's about Foucault, a young dog selected to be the guardian, an ancient and revered role in the universe. The book follows the sometimes overwhelming challenges Foucault faces as he comes to terms with the responsibilities of his position. He will face a mammoth task of overcoming and enduring someone determined to take everything from him while having to protect his family, those he loves, and the people and animals of Arcos de la Frontera. The book is inspired by my real-life travels to visit my friend, an author who lives near the Andalusian town of Arcos de la Frontera, situated on the ancient Moorish crossroads where the book is set. While visiting, I got to meet his dog and his friends, who made such an impact on me that I was inspired on the bus trip back to Morocco to immediately put pen to paper and start. While Foucault will be challenged to face his greatest fears and overcome them, the book is also about the power of forgiveness and the redemption it offers everyone. Most importantly though, the book is about following through on your dreams and reaching out to those around you for help. It is understanding that we are not alone in this world and this is a message I would like to share with many young people around the world. I feel this book and its story will help young people to know that they can always solve life's challenges without the need for anger, fear or violence and that there are always people willing to help and that forgiveness is a powerful force at their fingertips. I would like them to know that if they apply themselves, it doesn't matter what challenges they face, their persistence will be the key to achieving their dreams. This is where you can help. To date, all of this has been self-funded. 
The funds will be used to pay for the editing of the book, creation of the rich original illustrations by artist Eniko Toshoi, as well as the publishing and marketing costs. We have used all our own resources and our experience to try and keep costs to a bare minimum, but we feel this story is an important one to get out to the world. This is why we want to take it on the road too. If we hit our stretch goals, we would like to make a speaking tour of the world, which will see us visit schools and places of learning throughout Australia, North America, Europe, India and Asia. I want to visit children in schools all around the world and speak with them directly. I want to listen and connect with their stories. I want to know what inspires them and learn how I can assist them. And this is where you too can make a difference and have a direct impact to change a life through stories. I want to thank you for helping me bring this story to life and sharing it with the world. Perhaps I can even meet you and thank you in person.